guys how are you it's Kim again I um, hope everybody's having a wonderful day so far um, I'm actually uh, <laughs> uh, I'm actually trying to stop a cold that's <clears throat> trying to come on me um, it's getting a little chilly here in Maryland um, after being in Nevada for five months and being under that 115 degree weather uh, coming back here is a little bit of a change for my body. Um, also, while I was in Nevada, I was there with my son, and um, you know what? I will tell you it's true what they say. When you go to the West Coast, you automatically start losing weight because the sun is always shining, uh, you change the way you eat. Um, my son is a real health nut. Um, I'm, I'm healthy, but I don't think I eat uh, as healthily that he, as he does, um, started eating those nuts and berries out there and I lost some weight. So when I came back here, my significant other immediately let me know that I had lost weight and let me know that I lost some of that junk in my trunk. So um, I guess I'm right now uh, working on getting the junk in my trunk back. So. Um, that's really um, part of what I wanted to talk to you guys today about. Um, your partner, your significant other, are they able to be honest with you about things? Um, it doesn't always feel good because I, I tell you, um, when he said that, it was like, okay, <laughs> um, I'm not enough for you right now. But I could see that I had lost a little bit of weight, so um, you know I'm just you know gonna do what I do to uh, you know pick up a little weight and get back to where I was before. But um, for you guys, um, is it important? Is it important for your significant other to be able to be honest with you about everything? Um, I know it can create problems in a relationship, but I think that if you have, uh, you know, respect for each other, if you have love for each other, um, we should be able to be honest with each other. Um, living an authentic life is the best way that, you know, we as human beings can live because if you're not living authentically, if you're not, if you're not being honest with yourself, it's very difficult for you to be honest with other people. So I don't have a problem with people being honest with me. I will tell you though, it doesn't always feel good, but if it's coming from a good place and I will consider the source, as someone told me yesterday, that's very close to me that I love very much, um, they're always honest with me and they're telling me that I need to consider the source when I am dealing with people and that's the thing that you have to, to keep in mind. If someone is being honest with you, you need to, um, you know, figure out does this person really care about me? Uh, is this person trying to hurt me? Um, is this person really my friend? Um, does this pre person love me? That kind of thing. These are the things that you have to determine when someone is being honest with you. But living honestly and authentically is the way that we as human beings need to go. Like I was saying in my last uh, video, um, we're only here for a moment. Um, we're never going to get out of this thing alive. So. Being happy and living an authentic life, an honest life with yourself and other people is the best way that you need, to, and it will make you happier as a person. So today guys, that's my thought for you. Um, I love speaking with you guys. Um, I work from home, as you guys know. Um, so most days, I'm here during the day by myself. So. Um, I love blogging, I love talking with you guys, and um, it's, it's one of the, like I said, the, one of the greatest parts of my day. Have a wonderful day, always, always love yourself, and I will talk to you guys on the other side. Thank you so much, bye.